coin ops to diamonds. Yes, that's right, diamonds. There's a lot of gem related, you know, references here. I think later in the video I even call this coin ops gems. This is coin ops diamonds. Start screen. And you can enable or disable this video. You can have it go directly into the uh, front end if you want. And here you go, this is the cascading cabinets. I really like cabinets because you could see like, you know, the different joysticks, the different button layouts, you know, the different marquees, um, and then you still get the video snap. And this is coin ops, so the cool thing about it is you have this menu on the right side, and then you, if you go down one additional, the sixth menu that's hidden is the settings menu, and there's a ton of uh, settings for this. So really quickly though, the, the gems coin ops is primarily for arcade games. It comes preloaded with about 407 different games. It's going to be fighters, shoot 'em ups, beat 'em ups, classic games like Pac-Man, things like that. But this one, unlike the ones you've seen me review in the past, has a bunch of new features added to it. Not only that, the coin ops is very easy to install. A lot of it's drag and drop, and it's easy to customize, especially as far as um, not just bezels, which come pre-installed, but also shaders as well. A lot of shader options here. So let's go ahead and uh, basically just jump around, play a game or two, but jump around and check out the themes and, and how beautiful this really is. So here we are on Coin Ops Gems and uh, 2. And uh, this is, you know, very similar to the previous builds I, I, I've previewed on my channel. But um, I'm just going in here, checking out the different themes, you know, really looking at this from a front end. The 407 games that come on here are pretty standard with all the Coin Ops 2 builds out there. So I don't want to spend too much time on the collections. If you want to see exactly what games are on here, check out my other videos. Also, I just want to go ahead and say that, you know, I did not, uh, you know, Coin Ops peeps, you know, very great people. They have a Discord channel. They can definitely help you out with all this but i'm not on that team at all and none of them you know preface me with like oh can you can you show off this can you show off that i'm literally installing this and just sharing my experience based on using other front ends like recall box and retro pie and launch box so i'm just looking at it from that perspective of a front end on my computer how smooth is it do i like the graphics you know the organization of it all uh is it user friendly how do the controls work so i'm really looking at all that and if you want to know, all that is great. Very small system requirements. And uh, the biggest thing I notice here is that the the they have the gems here and the themes built in. And so let's just go ahead. We're just going to jump around for the next, you know, for the remainder of the video. We're just going to be jumping around to the themes and, and checking this out. And then about uh, 12 minutes in, I'll go ahead and share with you my uh, my closing remarks. I really like this thing just for all the different arcade stick layouts. The fighters. Killer Instinct. Nice.
So this is a good screen to understand all the different themes. So let's see, can you see my mouse? No, you cannot. So this is arcade wall. So it's a wall of arcade machines, exactly what we're looking at right now. And um, it looks like there's no menu. If you notice that the, um, you don't see any kind of menu in there. Oh, okay. And it's only Capcom games, then only fighter games. Arcade wall, all of them, I guess. Arcade wall only classics. Arcade wall classic classics. Uh, fast theme. It looks like it's a vertical wheel there. Cabinets theme where you can see the cabinets, but also it's all the categories. So you got the little, I don't know if you can see in the middle by the Hulk's uh, right arm, you can see the little menu items. Same thing here, you can see the menu items. The difference here is What's the difference there? Cabinets with plural versus cabinet. So does that mean that's just one cab and it doesn't change? Let's see, let's go back. Yeah, got it. So it just doesn't, um... so let's go back to arcade wall. Um, <clears throat> this one is a cascading wall, so the way the wall, but it's gem, so you still should be able to, you know, go through the different categories than just a regular wall. Oh, it's the way it transitions, I see. Gem Spectrum, we've all seen this in my previous video before. Whoops. Sorry, back. let's go back where we were. Then you have posters with still the gems, little icons on the left. Then you have icons at the top, marquee. I really like this one a lot. Then you have a cabinet, which is one cabinet. Then you have your cabinets. So I guess I would really like this one. If you want like new, you want like the cabinets, you want something new, you want, you know, the same category, which is a lot of games. And look, the cabinets change as well. And you go in between on the top here. Like if you want to jump around really easily, but you also want an awesome looking one, I would go with this one right here. No doubt. Yeah, that's pretty dope. So I wanted to see arcade wall cabinets, plural. And then I want, this will tell you how many games come on this build anyways. So this is 407. Yeah. Oh, 407 games. So this would allow you to do all the games or jump over to a um, category like fighters, shooters, side scrollers, classics. I'm digging this. Um, I haven't found my favorite yet though. So Capcom fighters. I just wonder why. I guess you only want the Capcom games, right? Because it's either yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of like a fun one, you know. If you're really into Capcom. So it's just fighters. So it's very limited. Interesting. However, this is a good way to see all your different themes. And remember, you have all these settings as well within Coin Ops. That Ryu with that animation, though. All right. All your fighters. Arcade wall. I haven't tried fast yet.
kind of cool down and dirty, you know? Look how fast it is when I drop it. It's loading the video snap before I even release my... Game in front of you. So far, I'm really digging this. I, I think it looks beautiful. Demon front. There you have it, coin ops, two gems. Really cool, don't forget you have all these advanced settings as well, uh, not just the settings in that menu, you can go to your uh, your default directory and there's advanced settings and you can do even more things like curv curving the glass, all sorts of effects and changing your controls and things like that. But an Xbox 360 controller is gonna work just fine out of the box with this. And uh, if you've watched my other videos, it's all fairly standard. That being said, um, if you, you know, like I said earlier in the video, I played this without any kind of like asking people about it. So this is a kind of a novice's look at just diving in here and checking them all out on my own and not having any kind of, uh, you know, I don't know the devs and I don't, I didn't, you know, hear the why they did what they did. I just looked at it from a gamer's perspective and what I'd be rocking and, and, and how I'd be playing it. But uh, like I said, two thumbs up. It's really beautiful. If I just needed a basic arcade, set i would definitely turn to this no problem at all very small system requirements they say windows 10 or windows vista um, but as far as processors if i were you i would definitely go with the intel duo core at a minimum maybe an, an, a newer i3 or media you know a not you know within the last five generations i3 or an i5 i7 processor and then obviously amd there's some equivalents as well but you do, you know, these games don't require much at all. You can get away without a dedicated graphics card for sure. But anyways, with all that said, two thumbs up. I'm really digging it. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Let's see what the non-cascading wall looks like.